we take it for granted that the land that we stand on is pretty stable most of the time. But that isn't always the case. About one o'clock in the morning, the neighbors reported hearing what sounded like thunder and came outside to discover that a sinkhole had opened up. Right now, I believe this hole is about 35 foot deep, uh, 18 foot across, the large hole. Uh, two more holes have opened up in front of the home. And at this point, there are two houses that are threatened. Sinkholes are a dangerous result of ground surface depressions that occur when a subterranean void weakens support of the overlying earth. We know that flowing water is capable of eroding things like beaches, but when that water flows underground, it's also capable of moving that earth in places where we can't see it. It dissolves certain types of bedrock, and when the bedrock is dissolved underground, it can create fractures and voids and caves that can collapse and form sinkholes. Landscapes that are generally prone to this behavior are called karst topography, and they make up about 10% of the Earth's surface. Karst landscapes are volatile, but they can also be important to human communities. They contain large deposits of underground water, bearing rocks called aquifers, that provide a primary source for water for around 700 million people on the planet. Although there is no global database tracking the number of sinkholes that occur, there has been a significant increase in the cost of damage they have created over the last 15 years. In Florida, for example, from 2006 to 2011, there were around 25,000 insurance claims with a total of approximately 1.4 billion in damages. Tropical storms known for their strong winds and heavy rain can particularly weaken areas of concern. In 2010, Guatemala experienced one of the worst sinkholes in its history, right in the middle of the capital, when a 100-foot deep, 66-foot wide circular chasm opened up after Tropical Storm Agatha blew through. Many of Guatemala's cities are built upon a bedrock made up of volcanic ash, debris, and pumice. So when Agatha dumped its excessive water over top of the capital region, it washed away much of the volcanic debris underground, which then collapsed under the weight of the cityscape. Humans also play a role in creating these devastating craters. The more we build and develop on land, the bigger the need for water to help support the community living on it. When we pump water from aquifers, from the ground, we can create these caverns, right? We can remove the water and then all of a sudden you have these empty spaces that can create these, these caverns and it can move groundwater around and cause you know, these soluble rocks like limestone to, to lose their structure and then collapse it on themselves. New sinkholes being discovered today continue to have a significant impact on science and the surrounding community. In 2022, a 650-foot sinkhole was discovered in China that had its own forest at the bottom filled with ancient trees that stretched over 130 feet. Sinkholes continue to present a dangerous but fascinating opportunity for scientific discovery. Since we cannot control the natural occurrence of this unusual phenomenon, our focus should be to avoid further damaging the fragile earth beneath us.